Hey guys, it's Wild 60 here, and today I'm going to show you uh, the newest ROM that I've got. It is the, uh, as far as I know, first Android 4.3 ROM for the Sprint Galaxy Nexus, or the Toro Plus. So let's unlock it. As you can see, lock screen is basically the same. And this is kind of how it looked when I got it. Um, of course, I've installed some things, but other than that, it's basically how it how it uh, looked. So just off the bat, I want to say this is the, probably the fastest ROM I've ever used on my Sprint Galaxy Nexus. Um, and I'm not even using the kernel that came with it. It was even faster with the stock kernel. Right now I'm running lean kernel, and I'll uh, talk about why I'm doing that a little bit later. But just to show you guys that it is indeed Android 4.3, let's go to the about here. And you can see Android version 4.3, and you got uh, kernel version as lean kernel. So the reason I got lean kernel is because this ROM has one issue, and it's kind of a major issue. It's really the only thing that doesn't work, though. And it's the uh, the data. The data does not really work. Let's see if I can replicate the issue right now. I'm going to turn off the Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi works totally fine. I'm going to try to see if I can replicate. Okay, as you can see, no 3G is coming up. That icon will never come up, and it won't connect to the data network. Data network unless I toggle uh, airplane mode. Let's see if I can if I can get it back. As you can see, this is kind of an issue. Some people it's working totally fine. Some people it kind of works like mine. I don't think it toggled. Let's see. Some people it kind of works like mine and I can usually get it back, and some people just flat out doesn't work at all. Um, they're working on a fix, they're doing their best, but uh, you know, there's only so much they can do uh, as of now. Because Sprint didn't release the right binaries and blah 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 blah, who cares. Uh, anyway, so yeah, as you can see, you know, it's, it's just ridiculously fast. As you can see, I'm actually not getting back the 3G, so I'll probably have to do some APN things. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's just crazy fast. You know, you get all your regular wallpapers and all that. And really, you know, you get much faster speed because of the trim support that was added in in Android 4.3. Um, I think the camera has also changed a bit. As you can see, now you have the uh, location button down at the bottom. Now you have to press and hold to get your, all your settings. You can go up here to more options and go through countdown timer, white balance, and all this stuff. I don't use the camera that much though, so I don't care too much about exactly uh, what settings I have, but as you can see it works great. I highly, highly recommend it. Might as well just try flashing it to see if you can get um, Data and if it doesn't work just head back over to 4.2.2 ROM or uh, try another ROM I'm about to re uh, review a uh, CyanogenMod 10.2. So uh, Thanks guys for watching and I'll talk to you later